Hi, greetings. Welcome to this video. I'm going to do a makeup video today and I bought some new things so I'm going to share those in the next video that I make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, the CoverGirl and LA Simply Ageless Primer. I'm going to try to do this um, video pretty quick. I like this primer because it brightens up my skin. It makes my complexion seem and feel brighter throughout the day. And it really helps with my pores. I just wish that it was a bit more of like a pore filling primer, but. I don't think it's that type of primer. Okay. So once I have my primer on throughout my face, um, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. I have um, Fair and light. Let me grab my light shade for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I like to use concealer um, all over my face. Not all of them, but almost um, lots of my face. So, what I like to do is I try to get a lot off of the wand and it'll look like this. And let me go grab my mirror. Um, okay. I guess I don't need one today. I got a new little mirror. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to do this looking into the camera. I like to go in once again. Mix it around. Try to get as much of it as off the wand that I can and I like to bring it back um, close to my hairline I feel that that makes the complexion look more even so that it's not so much of like a concealer spot treatment type of thing um, with my dark circles I've been really wanting to try to cover them up um, so I'm trying to use more concealer and what I'm also going to use is my CoverGirl True Blend um, L345 concealer, the True Blend Fix Stick. Okay, and I like to try to get the inner corners of my eye with the extra concealer that's on my fingers. And I like to bring it up to my eyebrow to help um, prime my eyes if I'm going to wear a subtle eyeshadow, which I don't do most of the time. But I like to try to conceal there, too. Um, like every blue moon, I wear eyeshadow. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, let me see how this is. I got a new mirror, and I didn't take the little laminated, the little thingy off. It just looks like this. Okay, so I have some concealer on. I try to blend it. And I really love this invisible concealer. I used to use it a lot. And then I had to switch them around. But now I'm back to using the um, Clean Invisible Concealer. If you can see, it helped to hide um, my dark circles a bit. Okay. And then what I'm going to do now is Use this CoverGirl True Blend Fix Stick. Oh, this is actually 567L, excuse me. I'm used to the L'Oreal True Match. So I just like to take it, go under like this a couple times. 
like that. That's usually my normal routine. Okay, a little, okay, well, whatever. And then I just use my ring fingers next to pinky fingers and just pat, 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 pat that in. My screen looks a little bit bright. Let's see what happens if I try to turn it on. Can you see me more? Oh, it's dark. Okay, well, how about now? Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me just try to blend this on and then I'll... Oh dear. Oh, gotta turn this on. Okay. Excuse my hair. I just put it up as fast as I could as usual. Okay. So anyway, blend, 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 blend. Thought maybe today I'd use a little bit of the fair. Oh my god, I bet the be I got the best stuff today. No, not today. Um, over the last couple of days, they're the Wet n Wild Limited Edition. I was so excited about them. I love the name. There's Solar, Solar Powered, Sunset Junction, and um, Fair Trade Coffee. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, which I like to use for concealer, which I haven't um, really shown in any of my how I do my makeup videos. Um, this is the ultimate finish. I have the clay shade, the clay. <laughs> I have the shade Classic Ivory 410, and it's really light for me if I do it as regular makeup. So that's why I haven't really shown it on there because. I know, I, you know how what people are if they choose like a light color, feel kind of embarrassed to show it, so. Okay, so I just try to get some on here. And I'm just going to use this like a concealer again. And I don't try to pound my makeup on, but, um... I'm just trying something new. I haven't um, used these three products together as a concealer yet, so um, bear with me. This is my first time. But while um, I have that still on my finger, I'm going to go with my um, Clean Invisible Concealer, and I just try to highlight certain spots of my area, I mean areas of my face. And I'm using this because I've had this for a while and I need to use it up. So I thought this would be a really great way to play with my concealer. So. That's one thing. If you're worried about um, your concealer getting old, you can always just um, use a ton of it on your face and it will seem just like foundation. So then I like to go on the sides of my mouth. Ooh, I have some redness. Okay. So my concealer has a little bit of a smell, so that's why I'm trying to use it up. So you're going to look like this. You're going to look like a sun warrior. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I have product on that finger, so I'm just going to try to evenly blend it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to blend this in because it'll dry, and if I don't blend it out, it will dry in a big patch. So, okay, so I'll just use one finger so you can see me. Try to do this in a hurry. Okay, and then try to get right here, and sides of my mouth, blend it in. 
pelan 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 okay now i'm just gonna gently pat under my eyes i'm not gonna go like fiercely hard but just like this and <laughs> like so I couldn't decide what foundation to use today okay so let me try to blend this in this makes me think of um, the first set of makeup brushes I got were um, the eco tools that was when I was using my Alme um, makeup because of my blemishes and it was a really nice set that blended everything in and I looked like flawless and airbrushed and it's really nice but it's in my eco tools um, storage container where I keep my eco tools items but this would be a good opportunity to use a eco tools kit that's what I would do but I'm doing this in a hurry okay so once everything is blended in We're going to use foundation. I don't know what type of foundation I'll use today. My skin's a little bit sensitive. So I'm going to use I'll just go with this soft honey because I have different shades but I just don't want to look really white on camera because just because. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take my finger and dot this on like so and a brush that I like to use um, for blending in my foundation is the Samantha Chapman brush it's made with cruelty free and vegan bristles it's really amazing at blending in um, liquid foundation and it's super amazing so it looks like this I think the hair is on top of it or white but okay so to blend this in I found online that CoverGirl is coming out with a new type of Outlast foundation I'm super excited I'll definitely keep my eye out for it okay so I like to use my fingers as much as I can and I really like to use the Samantha Chapman brush um, especially when I have like tons and tons of foundation that I need to blend in say like I use three pumps of Outlast I'd use um, like my soft honey or classic ivory and I have like a lot of foundation left um, I just try to pat it in blend it in with my fingers as much as I can and then I like to use my Samantha Chapman blending brush and just kind of pat it on and that'll take some product from your face to the brush and then it'll evenly distribute it throughout your face and that way you won't get tons of liquid foundation on your brush and I like to use this um, in gentle motions um, I make sure that I use a really gentle hand when I use this um, foundation brush um, foundation buffing brush by Samantha Chapman it has a nice non-slip um, top to it and the base is made out of aluminum I believe and eco tools are made out of Eco Tools brushes are made out of recycled aluminum. And I like to be as eco friendly as I can. I got this one because it was vegan and cruelty free, and I'm for all, all for vegan cruelty free stuff. I'm so glad I read online that CoverGirl doesn't test on animals anymore. I was like, yay! <laughs> okay, so next. Um, 
I'm just going to check the mirror. So it looks like I have a lot on right now, but the coverage seems even. And I plucked my eyebrows a couple days ago because I got the new, um, oops, watch out for your earrings if you wear earrings while you do this. Um, the new Wet n Wild Ginger Roots. Um, I got the Ginger Roots um, eyebrow pencil. Okay, so I'm having the I have the buff beige and I also have medium light. So I'm going to use medium light today. Some days I like buff beige. Some days I use a mixture of these. I'm just using my e.l.f. brush. Try to give you a good amount of color. And I really like this CoverGirl press powder in the blue compact just because I feel like it brightens my day and it just reminds me of a nice glorious day where the sun's out, the blue sky's out, you know, like you're traveling on the road and all you see is like you look up at your front window, or your windows, whatever, and you see clear blue skies with some clouds. It's just like, you know, you have like the perfect day. So it just kind of reminds me of that and... I'm also going to have buff beige on my face because this is a bit dark. And I thought the um, soft, the, blah, 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 what shade is this? Medium light would be um, a nice bronzer shade. And I am just basically stuck with using CoverGirl products because I have oily skin and I break out. Like, I can really break out, and CoverGirl makes really good products for people with oily skin. So, I'm basically stuck with CoverGirl drugstore products. <laughs> um, so, now I'm just going to try to go and use this under my eyes. Make sure I get my concealer to last, and... I already used a lot of product, but if I wanted to, I could just use more concealer before I apply powder on my face. Um, you could do the same if you'd like. Um, that's your choice. I mean, we're all free to play with makeup. Basically, we can do whatever we want with makeup, right? All right. Okay. Next, I'm going to use this um, shade Succulent Cherry. This is the new CoverGirl Colorlicious. I'm going to apply it on my lips. And there you go. I guess I should do my eyebrows. Okay, so I'll do that in part two. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.